What's up guys? Lucas Parsons here with uh, Legends Guide Service and LGS Outdoors and we are back in uh, Fairmont, Minnesota. We're gonna have a little fun today. Uh, been getting a lot of pressure on these lakes. Uh, a lot of people fishing and the fish are very skittish. They're moving around a lot. You know, trucks driving two, three hundred yards away from here are spooking schools. Every time you drill a hole, they're moving around. So I am gonna walk today and I'm gonna show people how much more success you can have when the fishing gets tough and the fish get tight-lipped. So, stay tuned everybody, let's go have some fun. All right guys, I got everything loaded up. Now when you're walking, obviously minimal tackle, minimal everything. You just wanna have your essentials here. Four rods, a little bit of tackle, got some bait, and we're gonna be off. Stay tuned. Look at these carp swimming through here. <laughs> How big they look on the live scope, isn't that just crazy? Look at them all. <laughs> oh, yeah, you can kind of see their fins. <laughs> it's so neat. I want to catch them bad boys, but it's cool to see. <laughs> look at that big old blob there. Look at his tail, his fins. <laughs> big fishies. That, my friends, is a thick yellow bass. Wow, what a fish. All right, guys, kind of prime example of what, uh, what I'm talking about when people drive by and push your fish or whatever. So I've been out here by myself. It's doing pretty darn good. I'm starting to stack them up. And they were right underneath me there. And then now look how far away they moved. So they went from zero to 60 feet out when somebody drove by on a side-by-side. So that's what we're saying about pressure and driving vehicles out as to kind of how scarce these fish are and how much they're moving around with that many trucks and things on the ice. Alright guys, like I said I was on a walking mission today and kind of the only reason I wanted to do that was because the bite on Bud Lake's been really tough and a lot of car traffic, a lot of uh, people, a lot of all that things. Well it makes those fish skittish, makes them not want to bite so like we always say you want to get away from the crowds and uh, that's what I've done. Walked out here, found a good school of fish, been fishing them for about 10-15 minutes. I can tell you they're not skittish at all. Every drop I was pulling one up and they're still down there. They're not going anywhere. So, like I was saying, that's kind of why you want to get away from the crowds. If you don't have to drive, you don't have to. It's not that far of a walk to some of the best spots where the fish are. But uh, that's part of the reason why they're getting so skittish and whatnot. You know, every time somebody drives by, they can be two, three hundred feet away, but it'll push the school, you know, away from you, around. And then the fish just get uh, lockjaw. They just don't want to bite. So just keep that in mind. And remember that, uh, you know, walking doesn't hurt. All right, guys. Well, like I said, I walked out and uh, got on this school. What I'm looking at here, and like I said, I'm not fishing them right now, so they're not as high, but I had them up to six foot. Pretty solid school, and they're uh, hitting every drop. Less pressure, more fish. All right, guys, I just finished up, getting ready to hoof it back to the pickup truck, but pretty darn happy. Got out some fish that wanted to bite, and every drop, not sure how many we got, but I know we got a bucket full anyways. So, good results. Doing a little harder work by walking out, but it ended up being worth it. Less pressure, better bite. Alrighty, well, I'm going to get back to the truck, and I'll talk to you then. Alright guys, I apologize, it's dark, uh, kind of forgot to do the finishing part of the video here, uh, just, uh, got in a hurry to get home and now it's getting dark, but, uh, anyways, what we saw out there, um, the ice is still good on all the lakes, uh, everybody's driving out, uh, uh, some of the lakes are kind of have some variable ice conditions, so just make sure when you're driving out, don't just barrel out there, make sure you check a few spots, because I found spots that are, you know 10 inches or less in certain areas so make sure you're you know mind your p's and q's and not just driving out thinking everything's fine because everyone else is okay so just be safe on that side of things but uh fishing's been tough on bud lake uh like i said the fish are tight lip been getting a lot of pressure you know you can still catch them so don't be afraid to get out there and give it a try but uh that's kind of why i did this video the way i did was to kind of show that uh less pressure you can find more fish you know get away from the crowd 
you know don't be sitting up or don't be having vehicles parked in a bunch of areas you know every time you're drilling these fish are moving because they're skittish they've been pressured hard a lot of people have been fishing them so they're going all over the place so just keep that in mind that walking still works uh, like I said a couple hours of fishing I got over a hundred fish and a five gallon pail full so I'd say that was a pretty successful mission um, and like I said, they weren't tight-lipped. I mean, every drop, they were smacking it. So that was the big thing, and, and they weren't moving around. Uh, I had one instance that I showed in the video where somebody drove by on a side-by-side, -side and I was on the fish, and then somebody drove by, and they didn't. They were plenty far away, but they drove by, and it moved the fish. So, I mean, it kind of shows you what they do and how skittish these fish are. Sometimes even footsteps can make these fish move, and most time when you drill on top of them, they're going to move or they're not going to stay. So keep that in mind when you're out there. But uh, like I said, the conditions on the lakes are good. We got a little bit of rain supposed to be coming tomorrow, so we'll see what happens there. But uh, other than that, I like what I see. And remember, like I said, that uh, sometimes uh, doing stuff a little different and not going where the crowd is isn't a bad idea. So this has been Lucas Parsons with LGS Outdoors and Legends Guide Service with another fishing report. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you want to. Like and comment. Let us know if you want us to go anywhere else. Thanks, guys.